Hello my soccer universe for the review of what happened in the Champions League uh, this week. Yeah, Champ Champions League is back, probably should have done a little preview, but uh, the schedule was kind of tight. Anyway, I also had a little bit trouble putting up the mat matchups. I mean, I decided to do now only the teams that were actually playing uh, this week. So we have here the Tuesday matchups, we have here the Wednesday matchups, and then uh, <laughs> whoever I could do double up, I kind of did a flip in uh, choosing the exact opposite jersey uh, but what I don't like is that we have Bayern and Liverpool here in the red down yeah and when, however I move I move move it around I thought about taking Sporting against City but however I move I move, move, move it around it will be a team that actually is more or less out of the running uh, all the way up there which is also something I wanted to avoid yeah my problem <laughs> but it's gentle now uh, I gotta say, I was largely entertained, but it was always one game that is very entertaining and the other one that is kind of a, a little bit of a dud in many ways. Uh, that's the overall feeling that I had, but I actually did enjoy it. What I do not enjoy is that when I look at now um, come the return legs, there's really only one game where I have a feeling it's a little bit up in the air. All the others are very much decided, which is, yeah, this is uh, what I hate about the Champions League uh, at the moment. And, you know, the big disparity um, in there. I think we, uh, that's where we, I guess we need a little bit more reform, but I don't know. Uh, it's not the new format that will get the reform. So, yeah, I would say we'll take it game by game. I mean, uh, I'm wearing PSG. I think they had probably. Nah, it's hard to say that City didn't have the bad perform the best performance. But I actually enjoyed the way PSG were playing, although with some flaws. Um, to me, the biggest thing is that I think for me this was the game that at least for me personally sealed it. Uh, and PSG is not Messi's team; it's Mbappe's team. Uh, it's so obvious. It is basically Messi move over Mbappe. Uh, he is the only one who can create great spark. I think it's the time where I, this is the first time where I say, yeah, Messi is not the best player in the world anymore. He's a very, very good player. He's not the best player in the world anymore. Uh, his time is over. And now it's the time for Mbappé uh, and the swords to shine, which in a way is always good to a little bit turn the page. And we'll start in Paris with that game. Um, honestly, it is a... a it was almost how I expected it to be. Uh, I, I didn't think that Real Madrid will come all out. I mean, it was already surprising that Benzema played uh, in that, that game coming back from an injury. Because, you know, uh, I know he's the one player that has been missing and Real Madrid have not been playing all that well. Um, but has ever a player coming back from injury really made a huge difference? That was my, that was always the big concern that I had about Benzema uh, playing in there, and so it was always that Ra that Real Madrid, especially in the first half, and yeah, I mean that's the way they always kept it very very tight on the back. Um, now, for once, I have to say that all the attacking players, be it Mbappe, be it Messi, being Di Maria. Uh, were really, really working on the press and really put pressure on Real Madrid, especially when uh, they lost the ball. They kept chasing after them. What I didn't understand, and this was for me the big puzzler, is as soon as they had the ball, they almost remained static between the lines. It was relatively easy to defend for Real Madrid. Yes, Mbappé once cut through, Di, Di Maria missed. Uh, I think that was almost uh, the biggest chance out there. I mean, Real Madrid took about half an hour, 30, 30, 30 minutes to actually have something productive go, 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 going up front. I was really impressed by Verratti, who seemed to be everywhere. Um, I was, as I said, impressed that the big stars did a load, a load of work uh, putting in, especially, I, and, 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 and I look especially at him, Messi. However, it's been, and then especially sex, and, 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 and I always thought that Messi is trying a little bit too hard, and it came all uh, to a blow when uh, when a penalty was awarded, uh, a clear penalty, and it was Mbappe who got the penalty, and Messi steps up to take it. And I was actually thinking, why is Messi? I mean, shouldn't is 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 this the point where you put Neymar in, who I think is the best penalty taker uh, that they had in the squad? 
because I don't trust Messi on penalties anymore. Uh, and I would even say that Mbappé, probably, probably the way he was performing, he was definitely more assured. I actually think that he should, should have taken it. And I've been critical of Mbappé in uh, big games because I always thought that he has a, ten a tendency to kind of disappear a little bit here and there. Not to the point of Slatan, but... Um, and I love Slotton, but uh, he always, you know, especially this Champions League final, didn't do it very well, uh, didn't do it to me, and I also, also, also think at, uh, at, at the Euros. It was very often when it counted, and Pape was a little bit disappearing. Uh, but this time, he completely showed up, and I actually thought that he probably should have taken that penalty. Because, you know, it's Courtois. He knows Messi, and Messi hasn't scored against Real Madrid in a while. And he didn't do it again, and Courtois saves the penalty. To me, this was almost breaking point, because at that point, you really thought that Real Madrid will get out with this nil-nil draw. I also think that not having any away goal rule anymore definitely didn't help that game, because now Real Madrid says, yeah, all we need is a draw, and then we'll uh, we'll see. I, I'm very, very... Uh, against that they got rid of the uh i i have to say it as hard uh against getting getting, getting rid of the away goal rule because now this allows p uh even more an away team to be happy with a draw or a nil nil away from home and then you win uh and then you win it at home um whereas uh if it has the away goal rule at least there's uh kind of an impetus there to get the goal that's my proper personal opinion. I see that sometimes it may not be fair if it's a high score scoring game. But, you know, we gotta wait and see. I have a feeling it's not a change for the better. We might get more penalty shoe shooters, which could be a change for the better. But uh, let's see. In any case, so the penalty is missed. Uh, at that point already, we had uh, one big yellow card uh, dished out to Carl Carl Casemiro. Absolutely unnecessary. Uh, which means he will miss in the return leg. So already one big miss for Real Madrid. And then um, a little bit uh, later, uh, I think it was uh, Ferran Mendy, who also could be before the penalty, got a yellow card. He will be out for the return leg as well. Also, not very uh, good for Real Madrid because that, that means Marcelo has to come, come in. Marcelo is really not that great. However, I also have had to say... Uh, as much as PSG were pressing, I always felt that Real Madrid are kind of comfortable in defending that. Uh, they only had trouble with Mbappé. They had Messi in check and Messi a few times. As I said, I found he was uh, almost for Messi uh, standards terrible because whatever he tried, it did not work. Um, or worse, I think there was one situation where he just took the ball away from a player that had a much better position. Uh, it was He tried to make up for his penalty penalty miss, but it was all too much. And just when I thought, uh, yeah, this will be a nil-nil, and I completely forgot about the fact that PSG is always uh, score, score, score late. Neymar came out, who, who actually provided a lot more spark than, than Messi. I, I, I saw the freak freak where they both name him Messi standing there, but ne Messi puts the ball. It was clear that Messi's going to take it. I think Messi should have backed off a little bit more in that game. But I think he really, really won the won, 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 won to show. But just at that moment uh, where you thought that the game will end in a nil-nil-nil draw and PSG is gonna miss, I mean, so many chances where you just the last pass was not there. Uh, you know, it was almost too complicated at times. Neymar plays it into Mbappé who runs through and scores the win in the 94th minute. And that, I think, tilts the tie now in favor of PSG. Absolutely. Uh, you could see it in the faces. This was the one way they thought, yeah, not only is Casemiro and um, um, Mendy uh, not playing in the return leg. Um, you have now the advantage. Real Madrid need to come out. And I think this plays right into PSG's hands where they can hit them on the counterattack. I think for the way the PSG played, I was highly entertained. I was disappointed that Real Madrid didn't uh, go out and be a little bit more uh, offensively uh, adventurous, but I think uh, especially the midfield for PSG completely dominated them. Uh, their midfield, which is a hard thing to, to, to do, and that basically took care of the game in many ways. And so uh, it seemed inevitable that PSG are going to win this game, I felt. Yeah, it was, I think it it was a fun game game to watch. Now, if you like uh, goals, then Sporting as Man City, the first half was definitely a fun game to watch. 
if you're like me that wants to have a game that is a little bit more, uh, you know, where there's something at stake, that was not the game for me. I actually, I, uh, this is why I'm a little bit bored by City. Everything that they did, I mean, every goal was brilliantly played. The first one, uh, De Bruyne was not off offside. The way they just stay in the play and put it in and Maris can tap that tap in. Wonderful play. I give them that every time of the day. The Bernardo Silva goal, the way he takes the shot, wonderful. Uh, the way Mares dribbles to put it into Foden, and then again Bernardo Silva. All four goals in the first half were brilliantly, brilliant pieces of football. And I, I, you know, I, I was watching conferen a conference where they're going back and forth. I say, wow, great goal, great, great goal. But it killed the game for me. For me, there's nothing more boring than to watch a game where a team is up four by four goals or three goals uh, and it's the better team. That's not what I'm here to, here, here to watch. The only time that I can enjoy this is if one of my teams, and that literally means Lask and Milan, are trying to do so, something for the goal difference. Other than that, I want to see tight games. I, I want to see comp uh, competitiveness. This was not, not there. And I think Man Manchester City, after they scored the fifth one, <laughs> after Bernardo Silva had a goal disallowed, almost coming back around, and the rim Sterling make, makes another one. 5-0, I mean, do we need to play the return leg? Honestly, I, I mean, even Man City fans, are you interested in going to that game? Because it is done and dusted. Yes, you're going to see wonderful football. Uh, and Man City, to me, this seals the deal. They are the best team in uh, Europe slash the world at the moment. But uh, it was not a game that was uh, enjoyable for if you want to see a good, good, good game. Also not a super game was Inter against Liverpool. Um, full disclosure, yes, I'm usually for the Italians. I actually want Liverpool to demoralize Inter a little bit more. Because we need Inter down to for Milan, maybe even Napoli uh, snatch the Serie A title from from, from them. Although on the other side, it would be better if Inter makes a, a slightly deep, deeper run to get them tired. If I think about it, any, in any case, be it there as as it may, it was not an exciting game. It was more of a tactical battle. So take it for what it is. Uh, I actually thought from what I could, could, could see that Inter controlled Liverpool quite well. Liverpool just did whatever they needed to do but without being convincing in any way Inter actually having the best chance with Charles Charles Nogle for a very acute angle hitting the crawl crossbar but there was also Mane header in there but it seemed all a little bit uh, offensively anemic from Liverpool and Inter gave it their all and I have to give them full credit they really tried hard to get uh, a goal against Liverpool that at some point by the self assessment they probably would have deserved to have that one However, uh, <laughs> Liverpool is just clinically. Uh, Firmino uh, came on for Diogo Jota, who also was kind of not there, and he had had in with the Robertson cross. Uh, and then very late on, um, Salah, of course, gets also his goal. So uh, it's Tony Liverpool. And what was, in a way, a tense game, uh, one, as I said, it was a little bit of a tactical battle. You could really feel that Inter is giving it their all. And the tie is already decided. I don't see Inter going to Enfield and doing some something there. Now, um, Inter may have played better against Liverpool than Milan did, especially the home 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 game. I think Milan won, uh, lost only two one. Inter loses two nil. So yeah, Liverpool's unbeaten streak continue. But there's really not too much to talk about this game. The more entertaining game uh, was definitely Salzburg against Bayern Munich, where South. This is the way Salzburg plays. Uh, they get the ball and boom, speed up front. Uh, it is, it was, it is two teams that I really do not like. But this was highly entertaining, and you know, I, I don't want to say it really, but you know, I was a little teeny bit more for Bayern in this case, which against <laughs> an Austrian team. But uh, I have to give it to Salzburg, but they really gave it their all. I really have, to, they really gave it all. And I honestly feel that probably, I mean, yes, it's David against Goliath, but uh, they probably would have even deserved it to win a, uh, a little, little bit more because they had so many chances up front. Lewandowski did not exist the entire game. And that's a Salzburg defense that is leaking goals left and right. It is, uh, it, it, it is stunning what they did. Uh, and the way that they took the Bayern defense apart with their with over the Yemi with the quick 
uh, runs in there and you even lost Okafor and then Adamu come, 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 comes in and he, he scores a goal. The one thing that Salzburg has to uh, be a little bit aggrieved with this, I think they made it too complicated at times. Especially I'm looking at Aaron Aronson, I mean just Adamu had made it 1-0 and then Aronson has uh, the, the, the ball and takes a shot and he dribbles too much and then he wants to take the shot off. It was not an easy save for Ulrich but still, it, it was always a... If it was, it was a, always a teeny bit too complicated. Now, uh, there was a really, I think uh, Adamo should have had two more. He had really two good, good, good chances, especially then uh, in the second half where open net and who, who, who was it? I think Pavar made the, uh, the tackle to save that goal. It, it, it was incredible in many ways. Was all South, 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 and Bayern really had the work cut out for them. Now, um, very late on, Coman, of course, gets the equalizer, and he was the one uh, man where there was definitely uh, danger coming, but I honestly think the game should have tipped Salzburg's way. Uh, that it's a draw is typically, yeah, Bayern will go through. Now, um, I don't want to make a big deal out of it that, you know, uh, Neuer was no, no, not playing, but many say that uh, if Neuer is not is, is, is playing, it is a different. It's, it's, it's a different game for uh, Bayern, and that might have played. Uh, the defense did not look solid, and Salzburg really cut in there. It's just that the finishing let them down, and I, I have to say that sometimes Ad, Ad, Yemi, he really tried. He really hit them every time. He hurt Bayern a lot, but this last punch was not uh, there. But it was highly entertaining. I have to. I have, I have to say, despite this two being two teams that I really do not like, this was very entertaining. This was very entertaining, uh, and especially from Salzburg's side, how they took the game to uh, to the German giants. Bravo, absolutely bravo, I gotta say. So yeah, this was it from this week. Next week we have a, a I have one, I almost want to say the lesser set of uh, uh, knockout games. Chelsea Lille coming up via Real, Juve is probably a tight one, Atletico against Man, 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 Man United. This is a game that, it sounds good on paper, it's it's horrific. I mean, at least United is going some places. Atletico Madrid yesterday lost to last place Le uh, Levante. I think it will also tilt United's way. And then I think it's a brilliant game between Benfica and Ajax. Although I think Ajax should win that one. But this is such a traditional game uh, between two four for home for me that I'm very much looking forward to. The only other game between former winners was, of course, Inter against uh, Liverpool. In any case, please let me know what you thought about the games. Uh, which one did you enjoy the most of the four that, 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 that we had? I will give you all the probabilities in the stats cast that will probably come uh, late on Friday. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.